Lemmy Kilmister was famous for his straightforward, no-nonsense attitude. Over the years, his sharp wit and unfiltered honesty often cut through the excesses of the rock and roll world, leaving behind strong opinions and hard truths. Yet, despite his harsh critiques, there's an undeniable sincerity that's difficult to ignore. As the leader of Motorhead and one of heavy music's most legendary figures, Lemmy also had a profound respect for the music that shaped him. He was not only a highly skilled songwriter but also a deeply likable person who made major contributions to the music of other famous artists. Even though he disliked being categorized as metal, both he and Motorhead have had a massive influence on nearly every metal and hard rock band in the last 30 years. With their powerful music and Lemmy's legendary persona, he became an icon in the industry. Here are three bands Lemmy Kilmister said were his favorite bands of all times. The Ramones. The relationship between Motorhead and the Ramones goes back to 1976. Both bands are legends in their respective genres, Motorhead for metal, and the Ramones for punk. Lemmy not only admired their music but also had a close friendship with the Ramones. Lemmy and the Ramones had a lot in common, producing fast, aggressive rock and roll that resonated with the rising punk movement. As bands like the Sex Pistols changed the rock scene, Lemmy's respect for punk grew. Motorhead even covered God Save the Queen on their We Are Motorhead album. But Lemmy's favorite band remained the Ramones. One of the most influential punk groups ever, the Ramones were not just one of Lemmy's favorite punk bands, they were one of his favorite bands. He was a huge fan of the American group and even honored them by writing Ramones, a song featured on Motorhead's 1991 album 1916, ABBA. In a 2014 interview with the Huffington Post, Lemmy revealed his surprising love. The Swedish pop group became world famous in the 1970s for their catchy melodies, harmonies, and polished production. Lemmy appreciated ABBA's distinctive sound, describing it as 70s pop with something special that made you stop and pay attention. He admitted when asked to share something that might surprise people. While he credited early rock pioneers like Little Richard and Elvis Presley for shaping his path, he also acknowledged ABBA's masterful songwriting. He admired the structure, melodies, and harmonies of their songs, even though it was vastly different from the heavy rock music for which Lemmy became known. The Sex Pistols while Lemmy came from a rock and roll and heavy metal background, he appreciated the way the Sex Pistols challenged the status quo and injected new life into the music scene with punk rock. In a 2010 interview with Stay Thirsty Media, Lemmy shared his thoughts on the Sex Pistols and said he was a big fan of the band. When asked about films featuring the Pistols, he responded, Yeah, the one about their first tour is pretty funny. There's not much music in it, but it's great seeing all those old faces. I liked a lot of them, though some are no longer around. A few decades later, in 2000, Motorhead covered the Sex Pistols track God Save the Queen on their album We Are Motorhead. Notably, Lemmy also lived with the punk group's infamous second bassist, Sid Vicious, for a time and even tried to teach him the instrument but called him hopeless.